Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Automate with Girish. In this video, we are going to see how we can work with JSON package in A360. So, this is the data that we have to read using JSON package. So, we will go through the data once. So, this is the arrow of object and in this array, we have three objects. One, two, three. And these objects are not same like here we have one two three four five objects so we'll see how we can read this json file data using automation anyway so first we have to loop through each file so for that i'll use loop command yes. for each file in folder and i give the path here I'll paste the path and here I'll store the output in a dictionary variable. I'll create D files files in folder and click on create and select. So now we can see like whether we are able to access the files or not inside that folder. So for this I'll copy paste the same path. You want slash and then select variable and the files in folder and give the file name as name. This is the key to access the file name. And after this, give one dot and then again click on insert a value and select the files in folder. And this is the of the file. This is the keyword to uh, access the ext extension of the files. So we'll see first we are able to access the files or not. So yes, we are getting Hyderabad dot json then manglo dot json mysore dot json nagpur and visakhapatnam so once we are able to read the file so we will access the data inside that file now so for this i'll use json package now start this session and here I'll give the path same. See, I'll copy the same path and paste it here. So I have to access the data from this file. So I'll pass the file name here and give the session name as default only. And once we are able. Uh, and also like when we are starting the session then at the same time give in session also and give the session name as default only so we have to read the list of the array list so for this i'll use get node list and here i'll pass the path so the path is vegetables to access this list and uh, I'll give the session name a default only and store the output in a list variable list L vegetable list and uh, after this we will use one loop through loop to loop through each of the this array and access the data inside the array so for this i'll select list here for each item in the list and i'll select the list l vegetable list and i'll store the output in a variable a list item 
so now we have to read the object inside this array so for this i'll again start the session uh, on json package I'll again i can drop start and in session and here i will pass the text right, that we are getting from the file so i'll pass here dollar a next item this is the text that contains all the data this all the data is contained inside this a list item because we are reading the data inside list and now we are looping through each list and storing the output in a, a list item so we'll pass the text here and i'll give the session name here json and here also i'll give the same json so now i'll i can use get node value to read all the data present inside this object so i will give the key here pass the key here code and session will be the json only and store the output in as code paste this four times here i will pass wait this is the json node key or path so we will pass the path here wait and session name would be the same and here i will pass s wait store the output in s wait variable now i'll pass price and put the output in s price and now i'll pass name we store the output in S main and here we have to give one condition like we have to extract only 25 we don't want this so for this I'll apply string formatting here manipulation so from string package I'll drag and drop extract text and I will pass the source string as price because now we have stored the data in as price here from this step and I have to extract the data before this so I will copy paste slash and dash paste here and return if no match found return the source string and I will store the output in as price only so now we can print our data in message box this code dollar s weight dollar s price dollar So we'll see whether we are able to extract the data or not. So I'll run my code. So we must able to read the data from JSON file now. So we'll see the output, match the output. Double four five four one kg. We are getting twenty five. Here we are applying string operation, and 
red cabbage also here we are getting four six two seven eight and spanish so yes we are able to read the data here also we are getting three to one so once it's done reading from this file it will open the mangalore.json and it will read 1525 1 kg 45 corn and now it will read the second 882 now it will read 427 yes we are able to read the data 274 912 so once it completed this file so it will go to my store file and it will read the data from here so it will giving it's giving me 6127 1 kg 50 and onion so yes we are able to extra, uh, read the data 31 then 75 then 54 and then 15 so one it's done reading this file so it will go here and it will read 24 26 and 22 so after this it will read last file visakhapatnam and it's giving me 98 12 91 and then 51 and then last is 21 so it's completed and our bot runs successfully so this is how we can read the json file using json package in automation anywhere so if you like the video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel thank you for watching